part two. Bro, do you even press? Oh, I'm so ready for this weekend coming. It's the long weekend in Canada. I'm so excited. The rodeo is in town where I live. So we are picking up at where we left off, part two, and we're trying a French press coffee together for the first time. So recap, Dory usually drinks fake instant coffee. So what I will say is when I left to go get Jacob and I left the coffee brewing and I came back, I will say the smell is in my whole house. As soon as I opened the door, I could smell the sweet pecan coffee and I was like, oh, dude. So maybe, maybe it will make a difference. So this is what our press looks like. All of our beans are in there and then you just slowly press it down while you pour it. So we're gonna do step two, and we're gonna make an iced coffee. So I've got my mug here just filled all the way to the top with ice, and I'm gonna add one squirt of sweetener. I don't like sweetener in my hot coffee, but in my cold coffee, I do like a little bit of sweetener. So you hold the lid down and pour it in. And it smells so good like I'm actually really really excited to taste it and then you add either a little bit of heavy cream or a little bit of coconut milk we've done a lot of dairy free so I'll do heavy cream for this one and also because I've got a full heavy cream <laughs> so I'll hold it up so you guys can see and then we just pour the cream over it and then mix it all in and I love this cup because it has a lid for it. So then I don't end up being like a spilly spillerson because I'm a spilly spillerson. So let's have a taste. This will be my very first taste. And we brewed the pecan blend of the Texas Parks, Texas Parks Outlet coffee. <laughs> I want to say it wrong. We all know Dory says stuff wrong all the time. Like, I think that I'm as known for as my rainbow hair. I won't lie. Oh, wow. Okay, so it does taste very different. Very different from an instant coffee, which is what I'm used to. Let me sip it again. I always hate it when people say, wow, that coffee has a robust flavor. But that coffee, <laughs> that coffee has a robust flavor. I don't even know. Do I even know what robust means? I don't know, but it tastes really good. Like, and why I would say robust is because it has more notes of flavor than my regular coffee. In my regular coffee, I can taste bean. I taste coffee. In this, I can taste the coffee base, I can taste like a smoky, sweet flavor. I can taste the hint of pecan. I think it's safe to say I'm big fat in love. Like, <laughs> my Miss Pat on Instagram. It's so nice to see you, lady. How's the weather in Cuba? <laughs> I'm sure you're dying of heat and need of iced coffee. Like, really, really bad. And I bet they have the best coffee down there too. I'm just saying. I, I'm guessing. I, I again, Dory is not the connoisseur of coffee, so we're going on a little bit of a coffee adventure together and experimenting with a real coffee. So I'm excited. Now I think the best part about this is the little French press because the reason why I have stuck to instant coffee is I am sans the space for coffee maker on my counter. And at my house, everybody works different schedules and everybody makes their own individual coffee. So this is gonna come in super handy for everyone to make their own. And look at how cute that is. Like it just makes a perfect one size coffee. You can get one and a half of your iced coffee out of it. And this comes from their website as well. I think they even have a bundle where you can get the coffee and 
the press. They have a couple different sorts of coffee makers and they all look super interesting to me. I won't lie. Like they've got a really cool drip one. They have a mocha one where it comes up from underneath. And I think for a lot of us, single serve works and it's easy and it's convenient. And I know for my house, this is what's going to make it possible for me to use an actual full bean coffee and, you know, break out of my instant coffee mold just a little bit. Hello, Naomi. It's so nice to see you. Um, Pat says, if we could get into it, maybe it would be good. But I haven't got to the city yet. So pass me the cup. Here, have, have a good sip. Here, I'll put like right by the camera for you. I'm such a bag. I know. <laughs> it is good, though. I, I almost wish I hadn't put any sweetener in it. Because although... I like the sweetness. When I'm tasting the brew of the coffee itself, I'm thinking it probably doesn't need any sweetener with that slight hint of a smoky, sweet pecan flavor. So this is my new obsession, by the way, iced coffee and iced drinks and pink drinks. I think it's the season. So if you guys are curious about that, hit up my page. There are so many. Check out my YouTube. We've got pink drinks with raspberry and mint. I've got a nice blend one. I've got a couple iced coffees. My favorite iced coffee, which is a pecan rimmed pralines and cream coffee. We're going to make that again with this coffee because with the pecan coffee. <gasps> mm, so yummy, yummy. So we are getting ready at my house for the long weekend and everybody's going to hang out. So we will likely not do a motivational Monday this week only because my whole house will be home and it just, it's not feasible for me to try to go live when everybody is home. So we will reschedule that and we'll add something extra to talk about it Tuesday and we'll get to be back into the swing of things. So up and coming. We are officially two weeks away from Great Canadian Keto Conference. I'm looking at the time and I know that in exactly two weeks I'm gonna be on a plane on my way to Toronto so if you guys haven't checked that out I will share the link for you to go check out Great Canadian Keto Conference in Toronto and on my Instagram page I posted highlights Jimmy Moore living la vida low carb man did a live with Mitch Holden who is the creator of Great Canadian Keto Conference and I posted clips on my page and all of the links for more information stay tuned I'm going to be posting a new feature video shortly of all of the speakers the updated vendor list so you guys can get an idea of what you're going to see and who you're going to get to hang out with I'm super stoked it's going to be the first official time that I am booking a colorful keto with Dory kid zone so if you're gonna be there pop by with your kids do some coloring have some fun enter all of the awesome giveaways we're gonna have so I'm gonna sign out I'm gonna make some dinner for my family it's four o'clock and I'm in my typical position where I'm like Ugh, oh everybody's probably gonna want to eat again today right hmm I didn't take anything out of the freezer hmm so I'm off to figure out what my family is going to eat. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow for Fun Flavor Friday. And spoiler alert, I have a feeling we're going to be playing fun, fancy coffee tomorrow. So if you guys have anything you've been dying to try, message me or comment in below this post and let me know what you want to see, what you want to do. I think we should do a blended iced coffee I think we should do a classic bulletproof coffee and I think we should do something that's like a really fancy latte with foam and sparkles. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm down for tomorrow's flavor being coffee. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Oh my goodness, I, I need to sign off so I can just like guzzle drink this. It's way too good. Give you guys one last peek. Have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow. Let's let's get back our tunes, our Jungle Man Sam. Have a great Thursday, guys, and I will see you tomorrow 
We're gonna have some awesome coffee fun. Bye guys! <laughs>